Very good day to people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to teach you how to use the motion tween uh, along with the motion editor. Right guys before I actually start explaining things to you let me show you a published preview by hitting control enter on my keyboard. There goes. Okay so uh, let me go to the motion editor and uh, then out here where it says uh, right at the top where it says motion simple slow I'm gonna change it to bounce have a look what happens right and uh, if I were to select let's say a springy action spring let's see what will happen cool but guys uh, let's start from the very start so let's destroy this project let's rebuild on it okay so let me scrap this layer completely I'll need to add one more layer before I can actually scrap it alright let me remove the these extra frames alright so guys right now we are working on a stage the size of which is 600 by 200 pixels okay well, let me then draw using the oval tool a perfect circle okay pressing the shift key uh, it's already selected the radial gradient which is uh, completely all right okay but the size that I want for this fire you know this ball is 50 by 50 <coughs> width and height excuse me <coughs> And then I'm gonna press press F8 on my keyboard, guys, to convert this to a symbol, keeping the registration point left middle. I'm gonna say OK. All right. And then, guys, I'm gonna place it at X0 and Y100. All right. That's bang in the center of the stage, guys. Cool next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say create motion tween automatically it'll insert 24 frames and this 24 frames always matches the frame rate guys the frame rate uh, that flash uses is 24 frames per second and it always matches that I'm gonna extend this to the 30th frame cool and on the 30th frame I'm gonna take the ball to x250 that's the extra uh, beg your pardon that's x 550 that's the extreme right of the stage okay then I'm gonna take the playhead place it on the 50th frame guys and make sure that the ball is on the is on x 2 250 actually In fact, out here on the 15th frame, it should be 275. Now it's perfectly in the center of the stage. Cool. Right. Now, guys, I'm going to use the motion editor. Okay. So I'm going to take the playhead back to frame number one. Okay. Before I actually start using the motion editor, let me first show you a published preview of how things look like right now. I'm going to hit Control Enter on the keyboard, guys so it's a very uh, simple linear uh, movement cool I'm gonna hit the motion editor tab and uh, the moment I do that guys you can notice out here I'm on frame number one the current frame is frame number one okay and out here right at the top where it says basic motion if I click on this uh, down arrow okay the only choice that I have is the simple slow and uh, no ease that's all that we have so I'm gonna change that and let's see how I can actually do that okay I'm gonna scroll down right to the bottom okay right at the bottom out here it says eases and uh, <coughs> just below that it says simple slow and there it says zero okay and the possible values are a plus and a minus hundred anyways I'm not gonna disturb that I'm gonna keep it at zero okay but then I'm gonna hit the plus button okay 
and then I'm gonna choose bounce and the moment I choose bounce guys have a look out here um, the number of bounces has been defaulted to 4 you can actually change this value to a 8 or a 2 or whatever okay let me show you a published preview by hitting control enter on the keyboard guys nothing has happened just by choosing the uh, eases as bounce does not mean that you've actually added it to add it you have to go right to the top out here where it says basic motion drop it down and choose bounce okay and then guys I'm gonna hit control enter on the keyboard and you should see the change there you go alright let's say if I were to go down once again out here click on this plus button and instead of bounce let me choose uh, something like spring okay then go right at the top where it says basic motion hit this uh, down arrow and this time choose spring let's see how it actually affects the animation there you go right and uh, guys have a look out here the springy action has been defaulted to 5 you could actually change that value as well cool okay and let's say as far as the simple slow um, is concerned let me increase it to uh, a complete hundred okay let's go right to the top and where it says spring let me uh, you know choose uh, simple slow All right let me hit control enter and uh, there you go so it's fast in the beginning but it slows down towards the end cool let me go down out here and where it says a complete hundred a full hundred let me take it in the negative and let's say I want it to be a minus hundred okay and let me go right to the top to confirm that I'm actually using the simple slow ease the basic motion has been set to simple slow yes indeed it has been and let me hit control enter guys and uh, see what's happened so it's slow towards the beginning and uh, the latter half it actually rushes cool so let me select the ball be in on frame number one click the motion editor tab so guys uh, you can add the easing and once you add the easing you can apply the easing from here okay you apply the easing from here where it says basic motion but you add it right out here at the bottom through this plus button okay through this plus button anyways let's see what else we can learn guys have a look out here the current frame is right now frame number one okay I'm gonna do uh, something else now I'm gonna use these uh, uh, skew X and uh, skew Y values okay let me drag it out here and as I actually change the skew values have a look at the ball guys that's what I want you to do so I'm gonna skew it like this and I'm gonna skew it like this all right and uh, let me hit control enter to see what's actually happened right so I'm using the simple slow ease guys cool now this time guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this right arrow and the moment you take your mouse over this right arrow it says go to uh, the next keyframe so I'm gonna hit that arrow and the moment I do that guys have a look out here it's taken me to the 15th frame I'm on the 15th keyframe now guys okay and this time guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skew it to a different value altogether right there you go I'm gonna hit control enter to test guys I'm sure you can actually notice the change guys cool All right, and uh, <coughs> so this is how you actually use the motion editor let me try something else let me go back to the very first frame by hitting this left arrow button okay I'm on the very first frame now this time instead of playing around with the skew I'm gonna play around with scale let me scale it to a bigger size on the very first keyframe let me hit this uh, go to the next keyframe right arrow key 
be on the 15th keyframe and let me decrease the size just that wee bit okay let me hit control enter to test right now let me go back let me be on the first uh, 15th frame okay guys I, I think I'm sorted I'm not gonna play with the motion editor anymore but uh, let me hit this timeline uh, tab and then click anywhere on the path guys between the first and the 30th frame and then let me apply a rotation let me say just rotate just once let me hit control enter to see what difference ha has it actually made there you go so <coughs> In effect, guys, I've, I've been able to apply different kind of easings, okay? Something like a spring or a bounce. I've been able to apply the simple ease, simple slow ease, um, the value for which uh, is between a plus 100 and a minus 100, okay? I've been able to make the object rotate itself. I've been able to skew the object. I've been able to scale the object. Uh, along the x and the y axis so this is motion editor for you guys uh, motion editor <coughs> if used wisely with the uh, motion tween can work wonders for you so guys although it's a simple tutorial uh, it's it's uh, nevertheless very very useful i hope you liked it guys i hope you learned something from it and uh, i hope you will implement it i'll see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial you have a good day guys peace bye bye